Hello everyone, Chris Gambit here from The Footblographer, giving you guys another tutorial on how to work with Capture One. I've been listening to a lot of feedback that you guys have been getting, and it seems that many people that are moving away from Adobe Lightroom into Capture One don't necessarily know what they're doing, and that's totally fine, but I think part of it is because of the different interface when it comes to editing. You're just not used to being able to, you know, have a whole section over here for lens corrections and then going over here to edit your colors and then going over here for, you know, exposure stuff. So I'm going to show you guys something. After you set up Capture One to look like Lightroom, more or less, with all of your edits over here and then this section over here with the film strip, there's something that a lot of people don't really understand about it. So over here, you have all these tools. Like over here, you can say sharpening, and you can go ahead and uh, adjust accordingly as you need. But if you right-click the little box area over here, and if you say Add Tool Tab, you'll get this option called Quick. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add Quick. Quick are more or less all of the things that you had in Lightroom and some of these are shared with other tools like for example you have white balance over here and then over here when I come over to the color tab I get white balance over there too so this is your quick adjustments panel and what you can do is you can say hey I'm just gonna add one of these uh, presets if I want I can say I'm gonna go with the capture one cinematic preset one and you can go ahead and do that but some people don't really like doing that, so instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I want to say this is going to be 5600 color balance, and then I'm going to make this high contrast image, add a little bit even more contrast, maybe a little brightness, no, I'm going to bring that back, and then I can say I'm going to kill the highlights a bit more, and then I say, you know, that's really all I really care about, I don't really care about a lot more, uh, I'm pretty set. Yeah, believe it or not, this is what a lot of people have found, been found to do in Lightroom. They just really work with the basic adjustments panel, and then they don't really care to look at the HSL or anything else like that. So if you're one of those people, then you're pretty much done. You can say, okay, so I'm going to select all of these images, and I'm going to copy my adjustments. I used to be able to say copy and apply adjustments, but for some odd reason I can't these days. And I'm going to apply, and then that's it. And then all of your images have the same sets of edits synced to them. And then you can go ahead and you could say export images over here. And then I can choose my folder. I'm pretty organized, as you guys see. Uh, capture one Lightroom intro photos. That's what I'm going to call them for the moment. And then with my redundant naming scheme, I'm just going to go ahead and go to put them in there. That size looks fine. Notify when complete. Export 11 images. And capture one is actually pretty fast about it. It's going to be faster about this, but the thing is, I'm actually recording a video, as you can see up here, so it's going to take a little bit longer. And in addition to that, I've got a couple things going on in the background. So, yeah, like, for example, those are our YouTube videos that we have. And right now, it's like, okay, it's exporting. It's taking a little longer. But, yeah, that's more or less what you do. You can use this. But I don't really necessarily like doing that. I like going through and saying, okay, so I'm going to, let me work with this image. Yeah, I'm going to say that's done, 5600. And then I'm going to make this a high contrast image. And then I'm going to say I'm going to kill the brightness. Oh, wait, this already has some adjustments to it. So I'm going to reset completely. I'm going to say 5600, and then I'm going to make this a high contrast image. I don't really care about the background as much, so I'm going to kill the background even more, kill the highlights a bit, and then I'm going to say I like square crops, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to crop square just like that. And yes, I realize I made a mistake there because I did not choose the right setting. 
And this is a little bit tough for me to see, but I think that'll work. Yeah, that's a crop that works. Totally fine. And then I like that, so I can work with that. And I'll be pretty okay. And I do that from working with these two panels. Now these two panels give me a lot more control than just that. For example, I can go into the color editor. And for some of you guys that have seen my videos, you know what this is uh, going to do. So I can go in and I can fine tune this and say, no, I just want to control like her lips and a little bit of the undertones. And I can say, I'm going to saturate that. But what I found is that digital cameras aren't very color accurate. So I'm going to work with the hues. Her lips should not be purple. They should be red though, so that works. And now I'm going to work with uh, the skin tonality. So now I'm going to make this lighter, and I can saturate it, but I don't think I want to saturate it that much. I work with the hue. She's more green there, she's more red there. I'm going to bring it somewhere in between. Green, there's nothing associated. Blue, there is a little bit, I know that. Uh, purple, her eyes a little bit, and then that color a little bit as well too. So, okay, and now we have an image that I like a lot more, and I feel gives me much better skin tonality. So I'm going to sync these together, copy and sync, and I'm going to make sure that the crop is not there. Crop, yes, take that out, but apply, and now we can go through, and now all those edits are synced pretty well and pretty easily, no problems at all. So those are two different ways. You can go in and you can work with these two and you can go more in depth, which is the way they usually like to work. Or you can just work with this quick panel. And again, the way to do that is you right click, you go to add tool tab, and then you click on quick and then you're all set. Thanks a lot, guys. And I hope this was helpful. Be sure to tune in for even more tips. And yeah, that's really about it, guys. Take care.